Weight over to, stretch over to the right. In breath to the center. Exhale, stretch to the left. In to the right. In to the left. In to the right. Breathing in to the left. Breathing in. And center, knees bent, curl forward. Shape the head. Head still, arm curl. Now, hands, link, palms down, in breath, lift the arms, exhale, stretch to the right, in breath, to the left, in, to the right, breathe, to the left, breathe, one more each side. Exhale to the right, in, exhale to the left, in, out breath, lower, breathing in, breathe, knees bent, curl forward, shake the hand, head still, arm curl the ball, we're coming up. We're going to repeat that. Fingers link. Now, if it's too strong for the hands, then your knuckles face the ceiling. If it's okay, turn. Okay, so let's press the palms to the floor, lifting the arms up. Exhale to the right. In. Exhale to the left. In. To the right. To the left. To the right. To the left. And exhale. Release the hands. Knees bent. Curl forward. Arm. Here we pause, we're going to bring ourselves up to a different position now. So here we're going to think about the side stretch and it's this sense of opening up here in the, in the trunk of the body. So this one begins, left arm travels up, exhale we travel over to the right. Now, I'm trying to move that left shoulder sort of back behind, to the wall behind me. I'm gazing past the arm towards the seam. Think of the breath flowing smoothly. Think of the weight, even ball of the foot to heel. Breathe into that open left side. Keep that small sense of that left shoulder traveling to the wall behind. Now when we're coming out, we release that little twist, we look forward, in breath, body to the center, out breath, lower the arm. Breathe in, right arm up, exhale into our normal side stretch, gaze out looking forward, then think of that whole of the right shoulder, it's moving just a few centimeters towards the wall behind you, that's twisting, you can gaze past that right arm towards the ceiling. So you turn the head, the breath is flowing smoothly. 
Think of the weight in the heels. Think of the weight in the balls of the feet. Next time you breathe in, looking forward, upright, lower the arm. Now, tuck in the chin, knees bent, curl forward, shake, head step, arm curl. Now we're ready to stand towards the back of our mat. I'm going to turn sideways, hopefully just so you can see what's going on. Here, step forward with the right foot. So initially, turn the left foot out a little. Step forward with the right. We want to be able to turn the hips. So bend that right knee a little. Back leg as straight as you can. Trunk upright. You're gazing out, looking out across your room. In breath, arms up to shoulder level. Out breath, in breath. Out breath, in breath, out breath. Last one. Now, in breath, arms travel up, palms face each other, back leg nice and straight, squeeze the buttocks, tuck the tail under a little. Now sternum moves up and away from the pubic bone. Open up the front of the body. Gaze upwards, breath smooth. Length up the front, lower the arms. We're going to step left leg forward. Feet together. Step right leg back. Now the right foot needs to turn out a little. We want turn of the hips as best we can. If the stride's too big, this, this turn of the hips will be more difficult. Back leg straight, front leg bent. Turn the hips, trunk upright, arms. In breath, out breath. In breath, arms forward, out breath, lift the arms. Now, in breath, lift the arms up, back leg straight, direct that left knee forward, lift the sternum up and away from the pubic bone, gaze upwards to the ceiling. Now we're upright. We're going to lower the arms. We're going to bring right leg forward. Here, right dog, knees bend, slide down, shake the head. Head still, uncurl the body. Curl me up. Here, we're standing tall. We're going to now retreat to the back of our mat again. We're ready to do a forward bend. Right foot out, left foot forward. Turn the pelvis again to face down the mat over those left toes. Left leg bent, right leg straight. Hold on to a wrist. 
here lay the long spine towards the left thigh keep the spine as long as possible here slowly straighten that left leg breathe try and keep that left thigh and the trunk close. Here, hands release. In breath, out breath. In breath, arms stretch forward. Out breath, lift the arms. In breath, out breath. In breath, out breath. And here, pause. We're going to now bring the hands onto the leg. Slowly, we lift the body. We come up. Bring right leg forward. Step back with that left leg. Again. Left foot turns out, twist, turn the pelvis, bend the right knee, right knee forward, left leg very straight, breathe, here, hold on to a wrist, long spine, centre of the skull, down to the base, long spine, lengthen the spine, as you bring the whole of the trunk closer to that right thigh. Stretch and straighten that right leg as you wish. Release the hands, stretch the arms forward, take both arms back, lift them up high, breathe in, forward, breathe out, in, out, in, out. Hands onto the leg, bend that front right knee, slowly lift the body up. When you're upright, left leg forward. Here, knees bent, curl forward. And curl the body, come in. Now, we're upright. Here, we're going to circle the shoulders a couple of times. And we're ready to do a couple of movements before we're really going to arrive and lie down on our back. So, first one is a balance. Feet together. Look out straight across the room. Now let your eyes look to a spot on the floor, just a, a few metres ahead. That spot's not going to move. We're going to take all the weight into the right leg. Left foot. Tuck it behind that right thigh. Right arm. We're going to lift the right arm. Left hand rests on that left thumb. Tuck index finger, right index finger, to the root of the thumb. The other hand, other fingers stretch away. We stretch the arm up. We breathe. We lower the arm. We release the gesture with the hand, the right hand. Left foot to the floor. Both knees bent. So just to show you that gesture with the hand, it looks like that. So it's 
index finger tucked into the root of the thumb and the other fingers extended out. Now, left, weight into this right leg, tall, look at your spot, weight in that right leg, sorry, weight into the left leg and we'll bring the right foot behind. Tuck the index finger of the left hand into the root of that left thumb. Other fingers extend out, lift that left arm, breathe. Right hand rests on the thigh. Look at your spot, breathe. to lower the arm, lower the right foot, both feet on the floor, knees bent, curl forward, arm curlable, here we're going to step to the back of the mat, we are going to Bring ourselves down onto lying on the front of the body initially. So the way this works, knees bent, tuck in the chin, curl forward, bring your fingertips to the floor in front of the toes, walk the hands forward, hands onto the floor, into your best guess of the down face duck, Here, knees to the floor, onto lying on the front of the body, arms stretch forward, forehead on the floor, big toes touch, heels fall apart. Now, hands under shoulders, press back onto knees, into your child pose. up and you're going to have a lie down on your back. So your relaxation pose, hopefully you know that well, it's a question of bringing. Lie down on your back, I'm just going to adjust the sound a little. We're going to Find a place where the body feels very comfortable, lying down on the back. We're going to make this relaxation about three or four minutes. 
and then I'm going to stop the tape, but I want you to continue for as long as you wish. Really, at the end of a session of yoga, it's nice to do uh, 10, 15 minutes of relaxation. So, you're lying down on your back. You might prefer the knees bent. You might like the legs extended out. So that's really up to you, whatever you prefer. Arms on the floor, palms face up. We think of the legs holding the minimum of tension. Now, if you prefer the hands, the hands can be resting on the abdomen. Wide across the shoulders, wide across the upper back. Long, smooth, deep breaths, flowing in and out. We're, with the mind, just watching the breath. This is breath awareness. This could be the most powerful, yet most simple mindfulness practice. Follow the breath in, follow the breath out. When your mind has gone and wandered somewhere else, notice that and bring the breath back, bring the mind back to focus on the breath. Possible you're breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Cool air flowing in, warm air flowing in. Now we've been using this couple of phrases from Thich Nhat Hanh. On the in-breath, the phrase is breathing in, I know I am breathing in. On the out-breath, the phrase is I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. So these are two phrases we're going to use with the breath. So breathe out together. Say to yourself, in your mind, breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing in. 